Hello, folks. This is Jeff Davis with the legendary Jeff Davis Show from Central Texas, USA. And I love my Canton archives. Peace or, out, uh, baby. Minor infractions, uh, expired uh, tag on their license plate. Uh, people have been searching their homes in the middle of the night for no apparent reason. Uh, people hauled off to jail. Uh, beatings happen quite frequently at the county jail here in Williamson County. Uh, that sort of thing. Uh, a lot of people are really afraid, are really scared, um, and I just think it's time that uh, people stop being afraid, stop being scared uh, to stand up, uh, because it's just going to get worse. If uh, we don't do something about it right now, uh, we can expect this to uh, double and tenfold after that. So uh, that's basically uh, some of the things that are going on. Uh, we've also noticed a large uh, county presence uh, within the Georgetown city limits, uh, deputies, uh, even uh, police officers from out of uh, the, the Georgetown uh, uh, city line, from Round Rock, uh, Taylor, uh, they're really uh, stepping up. I haven't really heard of anybody uh, being abused any more frequently than as usual, but uh, there's definitely an increased presence here in Georgetown that I've noticed. and. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, if you have a uh, business in this town or if you're an uh, elected official, uh, you can get the police, uh, the sheriff's department to pretty much uh, act like a uh, private police force. And that's just not me, but you can just about ask anybody uh, on the street uh, of Georgetown or anywhere in the county of this. And they'll Thank you everybody here for the opportunity. Uh, God bless you all. You do for the record? Yes, I will be doing it. My name is Jeff Davis. I uh, am the, the host of the long-running Jeff Davis television show based out of Austin, Texas. I've also been on a national radio network for the last three years. The reason why I am down here, um, we are basically investigating a story, investigating an ongoing uh, situation where, and here's a copy of the video, it's about a month old, called Search for Justice. Uh, we are investigating several reports and allegations of abuse in Williamson County, Texas by Round Rock Police, Georgetown Police, uh, Williamson County Deputy Sheriffs, and particularly the courthouse uh, where people uh, with things such as expired uh, inspection stickers, uh, inspired this, that, or the other, whatever, uh, all th different types of charges, getting heavy fines, large probation uh, time, uh, time in jail uh, for what I what was told to me by investigator Randy Nichols down at the Williamson County, uh, ca the county attorney's office uh, for crimes against the state of Texas. And basically what we're doing here, folks, uh, this, this particular video has over a hundred testimonials of people who are making these allegations. Uh, some of them are rather severe. The, most of the people that have seen the video says, quite frankly, it scares them that these types of things are going on here in Williamson County, Texas. So basically what I came down here to do today uh, was to ask the Williamson County Commissioner's Court, since you are our, our public servants, uh, to review this video uh, and make your own conclusions on it. Uh, but more importantly, what we're trying to do, we have given a copy of this to Sheriff Ed Richards. Uh, Travis County uh, Sheriff Margot Frazier has received a copy, as well as the Travis County Commissioner's Courts, uh, Judge Sam Bisco and uh, Ron Davis. Uh, and several people were actually getting them out across America. Uh, what we're doing down here specifically today is to ask the Commissioner's Court to review the, this documentary, two hours, and come up with some type of a response, a public response to, because uh, we cannot get to Sheriff Ed Richards uh, or, uh, or, or uh, District Attorney Ken Anderson or any of the other folks that have uh, received copies of this to make, a, to make some type of a response by the county. So that's basically why I'm down here. Uh, so I'm going to turn this video over to uh, the members of the Williamson County Commissioner's Court ask for your review and in a couple of weeks we'd like to get some type of a Republic response either denying these allegations 
uh, or uh, you know some type of response. And that's really all I, I have. And uh, I do appreciate the time for, from you all, and God First bless you. First off, uh, my name is Charles Hernandez. I'm a resident here of uh, Georgetown. Uh, I came down here with Mr. Davis uh, in the same uh, regards to the documentary he spoke about just a moment ago. Uh, I just wanted to add a little bit uh, to his statements uh, that we have taken up a petition for the uh, citizens of Williamson County, uh, those who could not attend or those who are concerned about the allegations on the video. And this petition is uh, making the rounds, not only here in Georgetown, but in other cities around the county, to uh, give people an opportunity to uh, show their support and their concern uh, regarding the allegations on the video. I'm aware that um, the petition will take some time to complete. It will uh, continue to move along. And I just ask uh, the members of the County Commissioner's Court, as Mr. Davis did, to please review this information and to uh, when the petition is completed or nearly completed, the petition will be delivered to the County Commissioner's Court for review. I uh, also uh, would like to address the, the County Commissioner's Court in the hopes that uh, a speedy response will be made to the allegations. And uh, that's they just leave. All I have for leave them there with their stuff all over the highway. This is not America. If they didn't violate somebody or somebody's property, then they should be left alone. That's what America is all about. Now, if they, did, if they violated somebody or somebody's property, they should be held accountable. That's not what's going on in these courts. I've been down to these courts quite a bit lately, and there's people in there for all sorts of things that didn't violate somebody, and, and they all say the same thing, that they have to uh, make a deal they have to make a deal because they can't afford just to keep going back. They keep them coming back up there five or six times. They got, they, they're putting lights, they're shining lights in people's face and say they're smoking marijuana. Half of them are not even, they say they don't even smoke marijuana. How can you sit, tell if somebody's smoking marijuana by shining a light in somebody's face? That's more like Nazi Germany. I think that y'all need to address this because people that are, that are or coming up here to do business in your town, the business owners need to be getting upset about this because I know a lot of people that will not set foot in Williamson County. I have a police officer that claims that, it's on the video, you'll see it, that we have been threatened. We have been threatened. If, we're ever, if we ever show up in this county, they will kick our ass. That's, what's on, that's what they say on the video cam. On the, uh, the officers said, and I have his card in my wallet. So something needs to be done about it. If you really care about America and your county, then do something about it. Because there's a lot of people around Central Texas that will not, there's people that drive all the way around Williamson County. And I know I-35 goes through Williamson County. They drive all the way around Williamson County, and all these businesses here are missing all this business because they're afraid that they're going to be stopped for some phony reason. And Judge, I just hope you will look into this because there's a lot of people counting on you. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Can I give you all these videos? Sure. Or Jane? Yeah, then we'll leave. Okay, Bill. Motion carried. Madam. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Item four. Consider donating any minutes in the off-highway work for Indiana Road, Dunbar Road Bridge. We are down here at the old Williamson County Courthouse. Uh, it is, uh, what is the date today? The 20, 21st. 21st of March, 2000. Uh, we just got done speaking to the Williamson County Commissioner's Court, asking them to review the Search for Justice video and uh, to have the county 
uh, make a some type of a public response uh, to the allegations in the video. So that's basically what we've done. Joining us, we have the Hernandez family. Uh, Charles, did you have something you'd like to add? Yes, sir. Uh, I would just like to add that uh, I believe that the county commissioner's court meeting went very well, and I'm very pleased with the results of uh, the speech and the uh, speech I gave and the speech that Jeff gave. I also wanted to state that uh, Sheriff Ed Richards was at the county commissioner's court meeting, and uh, he looked pretty nervous by the time we got out of there. Um, I also stated at the county commissioner's court that, that we are picking up a petition right now, so if anyone around the uh, county who's taking a look at this piece of footage right now would like to uh, contact me in regards to signing the petition to have these allegations answered to, you can contact me at 512-868-9094. There's always somebody at home to answer your call. And uh, that's basically my statement for today. I haven't got much to add to this other than it seems could like you, we're doing it. Can you a, identify yourself just for the uh, I'm uh, Rosalio Hernandez. I'm the father of Charles Hernandez here. Okay. And uh, I'm real pleased with the work that's going on here. It's something that's been a long time coming, really. And uh, we're now getting started on it, and I hope that it keeps going. We're going to keep ginning, and uh, everything's going to turn out all right, I think, because uh, there's really a lot of good that we can do that can come from this that we are attempting to do right now and I hope that it all continues and that we can uh, come right up with something good in the classics end. on this channel here Hanson Archives but to fund this station I'm offering if you send us $25 uh, we'll send you a signed copy of Bohemia Grove Cult of Conspiracy it was forwarded by Tex Mars that just recently passed away. Also, Alex Jones has a chapter in here. And you know that's good. There's us in our younger days. But on the address that you see, send us $25 and we will send you a signed copy or give us a call at 830-672-3089. And uh, you can put it on a credit card. We'll send it right out. But that's what we need to help fund this channel, folks. So help us get all the classics uploaded to YouTube. We got hundreds and hundreds of old Alex Jones and Jeff Davis and a bunch of other patriots that we need to upload. About 25 so I'm not going to be able to film up there. Tell us about what do you think about the business owners? They should be concerned about this because it's, it's oh, yeah. a lot of people are being. Oh, yeah. And uh, in regards to the uh, business in Georgetown, we're not getting the type of business we should. Uh, a lot of people are afraid of coming to Williamson County simply because of the fact of being stopped and taken off to jail, beaten up, or getting years of probation, or, or worse. Uh, so I think the business owners really need to be concerned. They're losing a lot of money. Uh, this is a, a, a good town to, uh, uh, as an example of uh, people being hurt by the system. Uh, not only the people, everyday people, but also a lot of the business owners. Um, there's a lot of laws, a lot of uh, uh, what have you, uh, city and county codes uh, put restrictions on a lot of these uh, business owners that are unnecessary. Uh, and I think that, uh, for example, you know, you can just take down a look here, uh, down the uh, square, you have a lot of businesses here that uh, are doing well, but not as well as they could be, uh, based a lot on the uh, activities of the county. So uh, I believe that that's a serious problem needs to be addressed as well. And I hope that uh, with our efforts and our continued efforts that will continue, that uh, this uh, situation can be resolved. Okay. Ron, anybody want to come up here? All right, that's it. Yeah, All right, yeah, right. Here, who wants to later? Let Jeans go. Go ahead. Yes, sir. All right. God bless the Republic.